Sagittarius, how you doing? It is now time for your January 2023 main monthly reading. If you would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading, read the description of this video very carefully. Don't get scammed by an impersonator pretending to be me. There's only one way to schedule a personal reading with me, so please read the description, okay? Also, for those of you who are interested in energy healing, you should check out my buddy Case's website. He is able to reconnect you to the newest frequency to the planet. That's in the description of the video as well if you're interested. All right, let's jump right into this. Let's jump in. I'm going to do a quick past, present, future for Sagittarius. Quick past, present, future. What do we got? All right, two more. Oh, 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 one jumped out. <clears throat> oh, the Ten of Swords, too. Ten of Swords. All right. Oh, death card reverse, though. <clears throat> there may end up being a reconciliation attempt. Possibly. Whatever this is, though, I'm feeling like somebody here isn't fully moving on from this. Yeah, in the past, I see you connected with somebody. And when the two of you connected, there was tension involved. And I kind of doubt that was you. Could have been. It's just that when it comes to Sagittarius, it's kind of near to my heart. Not only am I married to a Sagittarius, but it's my favorite sign. It always has been. So when I think back, I mean, I have met and connected with lots of different Saggies. And there's not usually a lot of tension when it comes to y'all. Not really. Not really. Usually just laughter and happy and giggling. And, and for the most part... So I'm kind of led to believe that the person you connected with in the past was very tense and very guarded. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. Could have been you, I guess, but there was some tension between the two of you when you connected. I'm not even 100% sure that both of you were all the way in this when you came together. Kind of feels to me like a connection that came together and at least one of you wasn't all the way in. And you stuck around each other longer than you probably should have. So the two of you became attached. The two of you became attached. Now, you may have been emotionally invested. I'm not saying that you weren't. But I don't think in the beginning this person was. I think they were holding themselves back and not being 100% emotionally available. Creeping up into the present moment here, I'm thinking that, that there may end up being communication there may end up being communication here very, very soon. Doesn't really look like successful communication, though, because I feel like you're still moving on from this, even though you may not want to. Especially those of you who are dealing with an on and off. Okay? I know that's not everybody, but I know there's at least one of you who you've gone through this before with this person, and you know it's just going to be the same old story, same old song and dance. So you're moving on because you know what's going to happen because you've already tried it before. Even if it wasn't an on and off, you still know that moving on from this is the best case scenario. Like, you know that it will be an on and off if you try. So creeping up into the future, could be a Libra for some of you. I see you kind of starting to question yourself. The more time goes on, the more you're kind of forgetting what went wrong. You know, you're because, man, whenever you move on from something, you don't waste no time, do you? No, Sagittarius don't waste no time moving on. You gone. Trail of dust on the horizon. And then you stop and think back on it six months later and you're like, wait a minute. What was I mad at them for again? What'd they do to me? I don't even remember. So you're starting to question. Well, was it me? Was it my fault? Did I do something? Like, I see you questioning, not 100% sure whether or not you should go back. There may end up being, I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation attempt in the future with the Five of Wands reversed down here and the Death card reversed overall. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Yeah. 
So before I forget, I do have Scorpio, Leo, and Libra here. If any of those signs ring a bell, sweet. If not, don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. Okie dokie. Let's see how this person feels about you. How's this person feel about Sagittarius Universe? What are their true thoughts, feelings, and opinions, hopes, dreams, and expectations? How do they see you? How do they feel about you? What do they want from you? Oh, oh. Ah, they heartbroken. They heartbroken. Yeah, they are. Even if they're trying to pretend that they're not. Because I can just hear some of you in the comments. They ain't heartbroken. They don't care about me. No, they've moved on and they're happy. No, it's fake. It's fake. Three of Cups. Is this a third party situation? Hmm. I know that's not everybody, but there could be a third party in the way for some of you. Either way, yeah, this person wants to reconnect with you. They do. They want to reconnect with you. They're too afraid to come forward, though. More than likely, they're afraid to hear what you're going to have to say. Again, I hate to, to, to profile you for being a saggy, but knowing you, you probably said something nasty, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you probably did. Again, I know that's not going to be everybody, but I, I feel very safe betting that the vast majority of you didn't walk away from this person telling them what time it was and where they could shove it, right? <laughs> probably so. Uh, anyway, they want to break the silence, but even if you didn't say something nasty to them, they're probably afraid that you will. Probably. Yeah, I think they want to commit. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's see the outcome then. Three of wands. They're waiting for the right opportunity. Tower card reversed. Lover's card upright. King of Cups. So I'm feeling like they're waiting for an opportunity to reconcile, but I'm not seeing them take any action. I'm not seeing them take any action. I'm not. Hmm. Okay. Well, do we have any advice then? Do we have any advice? Hmm. Five of Wands. At least clear the air with them. Five of Wands reversed. Clear the air. Squash the beef. Leave it at that. Yeah. Don't put your life on hold waiting around for them. Let's just start off with clearing the air. This is what I usually say when it comes to a reconciliation. So for those of you new faces, anytime a reconciliation comes up, the advice that I usually give is open communication and just see if you can leave it open and just study the energy between the two of you. You're going to have to be patient, going to have to be patient, okay? Be patient and balanced. If you don't have time for all that, I don't blame you. I don't either, but... If you don't have time for all that, just send them a message, squash in the beef, or at least do the healing work in your heart and move on. But for those of you interested in a reconciliation, this is going to have to happen step by step. Because the first thing that has to happen before anything can happen is both of you have to bring a new energy back to the connection. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing, and this is, I don't know which one's more important, but the second thing is the two of you have to work through whatever it was that separated you to begin with. you got to work through that. Now, that it seems like that's the part nobody wants to do. Whenever it comes to reconciliation, everybody wants to just stuff it under the rug, bury it, pretend that it never happened, and then just move forward with the same energy lingering between the two of them that was there when they separated to begin with. Vibration is the primary law. 
The energy that you are emitting is the primary law. What happens is the secondary law. The manifestation is what happens, okay? So first you emit the energy, then the manifestation happens that resonates with that energy. That's why you have to bring a new energy back to the connection. Does this make sense? Are you with me? Okay, in 2023, my goal is to educate as many people as I possibly can on the true nature of the behavior of energy. Or at least get the process started. All right, now we're going to look at singles. Single saggies and their love interests. <clears throat> what is generally happening between the single saggies and the person they're interested in? What's happening generally? Anything happening? King of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that definitely does not have their ducks in a row. They do not have their shit together. They're pooping a group. Even it may look like they do. Okay, Kings of Pentacles reversed. They have it. They do real good at making it look like it. You know, <clears throat> you may see them roll up in a nice new car, get out wearing the nice fresh clothes, looking like they got it all together with the chin up and the chest out. If you're dealing with a man. You know, women women can do this too, but I'm I'm painting a man in my mind because the King of Pentacles came out. But if you're if you're interested in a woman, then then just replace it with a woman because women do the same shit. But anyway, the, what comes to my mind with the King of Pentacles reversed is it's nice like a Corvette pulling up in a Corvette. Dude gets out, fresh suit, you know, chin up, chest out. But in real life, in real life, his life's a fucking disaster. You know. And you're like, damn, that dude must got it going on. And it looks like it. It really looks like it from the outside. But behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you know, once, once you peel the curtain back, his life's a mess. A mess. Hmm. Thinking some of you might want to get to know this person a little bit better. Just a little bit. And I mean, hey... <clears throat> Let's say their life is a mess. That does, that's not saying don't get with them. Maybe you can assist them. Maybe you can guide them and help them. Maybe the two of you can be a power couple. And, and you know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see here. Oh, you could be talking to somebody at a distance. Ooh, that makes this even more difficult. Okay. I'm trying to cover every story I can cover. Okay. I think the two of you are going to end up in a relationship. Yep, 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 yep. Two of cups, ten of cups. I feel like you all are going to end up in a relationship. For some of you, it could be a long-distance relationship. It could be long-distance. And I just say that because of the eight of wands. Now, that's even more tricky. Okay? See, we have this thing that we do as humans. I talk about this all the time. Where we paint a picture in our mind of who we assume this person is and we fall in love with that picture. Okay, it's natural. It's natural, you know. What we want to do though is picture, picture an imperfect person because you know they're going to be. We have this horrible habit, then when, when we do that, we paint this perfect picture in our mind. <clears throat> Even if you're dealing with an honest, loyal, genuine person of integrity, we're still not going to paint the exact picture of who they are in our mind. You know, not the exact. There's going to be some things that are off. There are going to be some imperfections in there. But paint the picture of an imperfect person, okay? Because you know they're going to be. Ain't nobody out there perfect. Okay. Either way, though, either way, I feel like the two of you are going to end up in a relationship. Communication's a little bit funny between the two of you. But at least I don't see this person talking to any other people. <clears throat> Let's see how they feel about you. Let's see how they feel about you. person might have some trust issues with you. Hang on. I feel like they've been cheated on in the past and they want to make 100% sure that you're not a cheater. <clears throat> they feel a real strong connection with you though. 
Yeah, they feel a really strong connection with you. <clears throat> but they're they're worried. I think this person's trying to protect their heart. Yeah, they're trying to protect their heart. They want to make 100% sure that they're not going to get hurt. They're not going to get cheated on. They want to make 100% sure that it's not going to be no unrequited love. That, you know, it's not going to go amazing. They're going to fall in love for two weeks and then get ghosted, you know, for somebody else. Yep, they've definitely been burned in the past. They want to get to know you. They're trying to get to know you as well as they possibly can. <clears throat> okay. What's the advice? I don't want to look at the outcome. I want to look at the advice. We got to go straight to the advice on this because I can already tell you, I, I don't need to look at the outcome. That energy is destructive. That energy is destructive. If that energy goes unchecked, it will come to an end. That, that lack of trust energy there. Hang on, not ready yet. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, seven of cups reversed and the hermit. Okay, so... No other love options. Simple. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that when the universe finally brings you your person, you're even going to notice anybody else? Think about that. I'm talking about the person. Not just some person out here. I'm talking about the one person the universe picked out for you. Do you believe you're even going to notice anybody else when the universe brings you that one person? I personally believe that to believe that would be very, very ignorant. <laughs> would be very ignorant. If I'm even thinking about anybody else, that's not the person the universe picked for me. No other love options. Okay. The best thing that you can do right now is build trust. Now, how do you build trust? This is tricky. How do I prove to you that you can trust me? How do I do that? How do I prove it? I can tell you until my face turns blue and the cows come home. All my friends can tell you. Jesus Christ himself could come down and vouch for me. But how do I prove it to you? Time. Time and consistency. I'm going to have to keep showing up, showing out. My actions match up with my words. My words match up with my actions. I do what I say I'm going to do. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. And I don't beat around the bush. I'm not full of shit. I'm not stringing you along. I'm not flaky. Flaky, come on now. Can't be fucking flaky for a long extended period of time, at least three months. And then their guard should come down and down and down and down and down. I have to be consistent if I want to prove to you that you can trust me. That's the only way it's done. <clears throat> All right, general messages. General messages for Sagittarius. General, ooh, 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 that was quick. Page of Pentacles reversed. For those of you who are looking for a new job in January, I don't see an offer being made. If you have a specific job in mind, I'm not seeing an offer being made from that company. Mm, ah, you are you are afraid of failure. You are afraid of failure. You are up in your head, driving yourself nuts, worried about a worst case scenario. That's one thing I've always noticed about you guys, man. I've told you I love you guys to death, but that's one thing that I think every Saggy on the planet needs to work on. We don't want to just jump straight to the worst case scenario. 
not only the worst case scenario, but a worst case scenario that doesn't even make logical sense. You know, the worst case scenario and the best case scenario both exist in the same place. And here, which one are we going to feed more energy to? Which one are we going to feed more energy to? So I'm feeling like there's something that you're about to walk away from that you're not, you don't need to be walking away from right now. It could be your job. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this has to do, hmm, you're thinking, uh, whatever this is that you're doing, I'm feeling like it's a job. I'm feeling like it's a job. You're so torn. I just feel like a mental battle is going on in your head throughout this Mercury fucking retrograde. And this mental battle is going on in your head and you don't know what to do here. You don't know whether to stay, whether to go, whether to look for something new. So you're laying around driving yourself nuts, overthinking the hell out of it. Good God. Okay, let me just get general advice then because this is giving, that's making my head spin looking at that. That's making my head spin. Let's get some general advice. General advice. Mm, ooh, okay. So make peace with your past. If you have any old friends you've fallen out with, do the best you can to make peace with your past. Either do it in your heart or shoot them a message. We gotta make peace with the past moving forward. If we wanna make our way up the mountain, we have to release as much vibrational weight as we possibly can. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not time for you to move on yet. It's not time for you to move on yet. Okay, so we all find ourselves in a situation where we're tired of what we're doing and we're ready to move on. And that's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. So here's what we do. We ask the universe. How do you ask the universe? Try it. Try to move on from it. Whatever it is you want to do. Let's say you want to get a new job, for example. Instead of coming to me and asking me if you should go look for another job, go look for another job. You know what you're doing when you do that? You're knocking on a door, a proverbial door. And if it don't open, that means the answer is no. Okay, go try to knock on another door. Go look for another job. Go all the way down the hallway and knock on every single door. And if none of them open, it's not time for you to move on yet. I get it. I get it. I totally fucking get it. I'm telling you. But if you keep knock, 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 and trying to branch out, trying to move on, trying to start something new, trying to leave this old cycle behind, and no door will open, it's because your cycle is not complete. A lot of us are going to be laying around going nuts this retrograde season. I get it. I'm right there with you. We got to tough it out and ride that wave, dude. We've got to. We've got to. Okay. All right. I feel like those were the messages that my Sagittarius friends needed to hear. So I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks again for tuning in and playing along. I greatly appreciate all the love, support, and positive feedback you guys show me every single time I get on here and do this. Makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube, y'all. I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to look in the description of this video if you would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Stay blessed.